Hype Cases booth. They're all set up. Doors are about to open in 20 minutes. And they just got Fragment AirPod case. I don't even have this one yet, but I'm gonna probably take one home because this case is so sick. It's even got the little Fragment logo. But anyway, guys, we are currently gonna walk around. We got 20 minutes until the doors open. So we are gonna walk around and make sure that we get some, uh, if we are gonna buy anything, we're gonna make sure we get it now. We're trying to get some heat because it's so cold outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so the only sneaker that I'm really looking for today is the SB Low Lance Mountain. Shouldn't be an expensive cop, honestly. They had them at the Jordan store yesterday, but they did not have my size. No, nah, they're so sick. Yes, welcome to the city, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. These are what I'm really looking for, though, actually. What size is this? Is it 10? Oh, no bro. way, yeah, I would have bought that. Home, what is it? It's an 11. I can, I can, I can ship them to you. Bro. 11? No, I need them now. I'll be back though. I'm going to walk around because I just got here. So, what size are these, boss? Yo, yo. How you doing, boss? You good? What size are these? 8 and 9. Oh, 8 and 9? Damn, I need a 10. Crazy, I see them right here. Damn, 10.5. Bruh, literally the whole store right there. Oh my god. Am I overhyping these? I think they're so fire. Do you have size oh, 10 no. in these? Yeah, I don't think they're right. You have you have a 10? How much? 260. 260? Uh, we gotta do the conversion. 194. Beat them. Do 220. I'm gonna give them about 240. Alright, let's do 240, boss. 240? Yeah. Alright, so we're about to pick these up right here. The Lance Mountain SB Lows. I think they're super fire. They're going for damn near retail. Retail's like 140. 130, 140. I'm gonna get them right here for uh about 180 so a little bit over retail this comes for free with it no <laughs> Nice try, bro. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick break from the video because we gotta give a huge shout out to Seat Geek for sponsoring this video. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're back in LA right now, but obviously the video you guys are watching is from Toronto and the Miami trip last week. But we gotta, you know, just take a quick break and talk about SeatGeek. If you guys did not know, SeatGeek is the ultimate ticket app. You can easily find tickets to games, concerts, festivals, all in one place so that you can focus on what matters most, the live experience. You can find all these live events on SeatGeek. Harry Styles, Post Malone, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, literally any concert or event you want to go to, just search it up on SeatGeek and it should be there. And of course, you know we gotta take care of the crew family, so if you use my code KAIS, you actually get yourself $20 off your first ticket purchase. So obviously I'm gonna link it down below guys. Make sure you guys use SeatGeek because this is the best way to save yourself some money and go to a dope event. I know the holidays are here. You know, Christmas is literally a few days away. So if you need a last minute gift, maybe some tickets to an event, a concert, a sporting event, whatever it may be, man, SeatGeek is the way to go. Use my code KAIS, get your discount, enjoy, have a great time. And like I said, it is going to be linked down below in the description of this video. Again, shout out to SeatGeek for always showing love to me and the crew. We appreciate them being the sponsor of today's video. Now back to the action in Toronto. So Mina got a nice little sneaker pickup. You want to show us what you cop today for a Canadian thousand dollar Canadian? No, nine hundred. Nine hundred dollar Canadian. No, we'll say a thousand for the title. All right. Okay. Show first of all, let's show you the lovely box. Look at that. There's a hole in there. And obviously, my oh, fat really? finger doesn't fit in there. There's a hole in there. These aren't F and F. I thought it was F and F, but I guess they released in Canada only. They are F and F, oh. but there was a shop drop here. The, let me see. Air Force One 07 F and F. Friends and family. Oh my god, bro. These are low-key fire. High-key fire. The clear, translucent vibes. The Betty boobs. Wow. Look at that. Look at that vibe. That tumble leather on here. Wow. You should wear these when you get your feet done. And then you want to show off your toes. With no socks? With no socks. No, I don't think so. Damn, these are a vibe, bro. I would honestly rock these too if they made it in men's sizing. Look at her eye. She got the swoosh as an eye. These are crazy, bro. Sick. Wow. Look at the even the corduroy sock liner. Oh my god. She killed it with these. Alright guys, we're in Canada, right? So it's only right that the boy pulled up on me. We got Drake in the building. Drake, what's good? You ain't gonna talk to me? I saw your Raptors, you know, they beat my Warriors, but you know, it's all good. Y'all suck this year, we do too. You already know what it is. I'm gonna catch you later, Champagne the boy. You wanna tell him about this hoodie? Yeah, yeah, this is the, the, the hoodie that 
two box of core first one above the rim yep. by 100 miles then when the raptors just won this year big up champagne pappy aka drizzy drizzy represented and again wore a toronto brand called 100 miles crazy you know what I'm crazy right but i want to shout out the big man in the building right man, now q man. you know what i'm saying They're big ups love. man they show love toronto yeah, always show love bro much love bro Okay guys, so here we go. I'm exhausted. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the vlogs, but last weekend we were all the way across the world in the in uh, in the Philippines in Manila. There's uh what was it? 14 hour time difference? Or am I tripping? 16 hour time dip. Are you sure? And then literally we fly back to Los Angeles and then we fly to Toronto where it was a three hour time difference. And then it was also literally snowing the last day we were there and then coming to Miami where it's nice and warm. Tomorrow we leave back to Los Angeles and we do not have any plans to travel as of right now, but the way my life is set up, things might happen or we might get invited somewhere or, or we'll get a job or something somewhere. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to go back home and just be in LA for once. Okay, so yeah, basically, yeah, let's go through some of the stuff that we've picked up over the last few days in Toronto and here in Miami. You guys already saw me go get these with Harris. It was 82 Canadian, um, so it was like 50 something dollars. Got the bread Jordan 11s, I was gonna say one, the bread Jordan 11s in the baby sizes. Mina's gonna be like, why did you buy those? You don't need those, we don't have a baby on I the agree. way. I agree, where did you get those from? I got them when I went with Harris. For what? It's a, it's a baby infant, bread 11. Look how cool these look. It's not hinting at anything. It's not hinting the at anything. I'm pregnant between the two of us in the sky. Okay. okay, I might look like I'm pregnant, okay? But Mina's not pregnant. But this is not hinting at anything. I was like, why not? It was retail. It was actually under retail. It was cheaper in Canada than it was in America. Um, and then my pickup from Toronto was the Lance Mountain Jordan 1 Low SBs. I love the backstory on these. I don't know why these are only going for like less than 200 bucks, but I was able to get them for about $170 and I think it's so such a dope concept because this is supposed to be a UNC low this is supposed to be a royal low and the backstory on this shoe is that Lance Mountain himself skated he skated in both of these sneakers the high top versions and he wore khaki pants so the khaki on top of the colorway represents his pants and that picture and you can actually tear away the top portion of this so that you can see the original colorways under. So you don't have to keep them khaki if you don't want, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off some of it, but not all of it. And then I saw somebody do some, like they burnt it so that the edges look burnt. So I'll probably do that in a future video when I get back home because I'm not gonna obviously do that here in this hotel. That was my pickup from Toronto. Mina, can you bring me your pickup from Toronto? Cause yours was like a banger. Here they are. Honestly, man, I'm very jealous of her having these. Olivia Kim, Air Force Ones. She did a whole collection for Nordstrom and this was supposed to be the friends and family um, Air Force Ones. Now, they did release them apparently at one store in Canada. I guess that's the backstory. So they did have a few pairs at the event and we found someone that had Mina's size. It is a woman's only. That's why I do not have the shoe or else I would get the shoe even though it is Betty Boop 100% clear on there. So I was telling Mina she should wear these with no socks. So when she gets her toes done, you could see her her fresh paint of toe, toe polish or whatever. But yeah, these are a banger, man. These are fire. I'm not done and I'm not finished. We still got three more sneakers. We'll show you guys these right here. I got these from Unknown Miami today. These are the Rude Vans. If you guys know what Rude is, it's a brand out of Cali. And then on the bottom, I kind of like this. It's got like a Warriors color checker bottom. So yeah, get, got these for retail. Pretty dope shoe. I do like the brand Rude, although I don't have any pieces from them yet. I do like the brand and um, uh, yeah, I decided to pick these up because I love Vans and I feel like I need to start wearing them a lot more. Okay, last but not least, we got two more sneaker pickups that are Mina's, not mine. Uh, and she got these, you got some crazy ass shoes this weekend. Like she got the Betty Boops and then she got these Chrome Air Force Ones. So these are a recent release. These are basically a GR, like you could get these on uh, was it on Nike? Mm -hmm. You're you seeing these on Nike and then I was like, wait till you see them in person. We saw them in person today and we got them from Unknown Miami for 
150 bucks. So yeah, retail boys. Okay, and then her last pickup. Oh, I'm kind of jealous of these, man. These are sick. S, not SBs. These are just regular dunks, right? Again, guys, I'm not a dunk guy. I'll be the first to admit it. I don't know too much about dunks. Uh, I see them all the time, but I don't know too much about dunks. But these are pretty fire. I like the colorway. I love the cl color blocking. I love the toe blue. That blue is so vibrant with that red and then violet bottom. What are these called again? Violet. Viotech, Viotech, whatever. These are sick. I'm not a, I'm not someone who pretends to know about SB dunks or dunks in general. I know these aren't SB because it doesn't say SB on the tongue. These are dope to me. And if I do find them again in a size 10, I will definitely cop. Yeah, I think they're dope. So I'm kind of jealous that she got this, but. I'm a love giver. Searching for glory, I'm a strong winner. Throw me the ball cause I'm a hard hitter. We had a little bit of footage from the Toronto event and then we had no footage from the Miami event because the Miami event, the music was so loud that there was literally no scenes that I could put in without getting copywritten. So I just had to just cut all the footage from that event. It really sucks, but uh, I was able to show you guys all the pickups we had and now we're back in LA and a quick update on what's going on with me and what's going on with this channel for the rest of the year because the year's almost over. It's about a week left or whatnot, but Basically, tomorrow, which is Sunday, December 22nd, I believe, is I'm going to be uploading a skit. Now, working on the skit since yesterday, we're going to fill some of it today. Um, so I will be having a skit for you guys to end off the year because I know you guys have been enjoying the skits. So look for that. And then on top of that... I'm just going to continue to upload every other day here on Crew TV for the underdog season because, you know, you guys have been enjoying the vlogs, doing well, and I've been able to stay consistent, although I have been not quite uploading every other day sometimes i take an extra bit extra day or two to you know edit the vlog but i'm still staying consistent i'm not disappearing for like a week or whatnot but yeah so thank you to all you guys for supporting the channel and showing love this holiday season with all the videos and whatnot i do have more videos like i said coming before the year ends i got a skit drop in tomorrow that's exciting and also the last thing i want to tell you guys right now on my instagram hold on hold on on my instagram right now i am giving away a brand new pair of of bread 11 so if you want to win these for free go to my instagram the last post that i posted is for these so if you want to win these you know what to do i'm going to link it down below obviously i always put my link for my instagram in the description of my video so go enter the giveaway good luck to everybody thank you guys again for all the love and support that you guys have been showing me lately the grind has been going great and i'm excited to bring 2020 and all of this dope content that we've been dropping for you guys so see you guys on the next video we out of here bye dream crew family dream crew dream crew dream crew yeah. they just want to do it how we do yeah. living my life like the beatles yeah. i just pulled up with some lethal yeah. they getting mad and deceitful yeah. i make it hard to be peaceful yeah. they tell me i got an ego but i'm putting up for my people